Probiotics are everywhere in drinks, pills, powders, obviously a lot of foods, all promising better gut health. But get this, now they're marketing probiotics for your vagina? <laughs> this is when I do one of these. Dr. Nita? <laughs> the vagina? I'm gonna join the audience, what? what? Health brands, they're manufacturing these pills and in some instances suppositories and they're telling women to go ahead and put it in their vaginas. They're saying they're gonna increase the amount of good bacteria in the vagina to help kind of balance things out. So what are my thoughts? If somebody comes to me and they have a perfectly healthy vagina, everything's good, and they say, should I use this vaginal probiotic? I would be like, no, your girl is good. Leave her alone, just let her be. <laughs> if somebody came and, yeah, leave her alone, she's fine. If somebody came and they were having issues with recurrent bacterial vaginosis or yeast infections and we tried traditional medicine and you know it was they just those infections kept coming back then I would say look we don't have research to say that this should be the standard of care. However, there are some promising studies with like bacterial vaginosis, mm -hmm. so it's worth a try. And it's worth theoretically, a try. with more studies, maybe we go from treating bacterial vaginosis with antibiotics mm -hmm. to treating with probiotics. Right. And obviously the, the side effects much more benign. So I think it's an interesting area of research, but look, as in all things, it's not a cure-all.